Hi, my name is Sophie Huber. I'm the director of Blue Note Records, Beyond the Notes. Every decade, the artists that they signed to the label turned the music world upside down. Without Blue Note, you probably would have never heard of them all. Bud Powell and those kind of players. And that's what really made it. I think you have to understand an artist to really get something out of him. All right, come on, Al says let's play. What they were searching for was to get the heart of the individuals creating the music. And that heart is affected by the times. When you hear these records, you feel what they strive for, what they were fighting to hopefully get to. I think there's a movement going on now. You have all these other bands coming up that come from a jazz background. I fell in love with jazz through hip hop. What is this? Herbie Rack. Um, I made a documentary about Harry Dean Stanton, the, the actor. And um, it became a music film because he didn't really want to speak. So he sang. And I was looking for a label to put out the soundtrack. And I was introduced to Don Wars, the president of Blue Note. And, and he loved the film. and. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, he asked me if I would be interested in, in doing something on, on Blue Note Records. So, you know, having known the label since I was a kid through my father's, you know, collection of, of, of jazz records, I was in, immediately drawn to, to the subject. And um, I'm Swiss, so I have access to amazing federal film funds, so I made sure it's an independent production, funded mostly from Switzerland and, and England, and um, here we are now, it's the 80th anniversary. Yeah, it, it was quite a challenge, you know, to um, basically take 80 years and, 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 and put them in 90 minutes. There's so many amazing artists and, uh, and records and personalities, so what I try to do or what I knew from the start is that I wanted to focus on, on the present day and start from, from the present because Blue Note is very much alive and, and thriving and to start with the artists themselves and um, let them speak about their, you know, their own process but also let them reflect on the people before them that influenced them so that we will find out through the artists who um, have, you know, had the most impact on them and who's still so influential. It was finding out about the, the two founders, Francis Wolff and Alfred Lyon, who fled Nazi Germany and who started this label in 1939 in New York. And especially the, the expression of, of freedom that they found in the music. In, in the music from African Americans who dealt with their own history of, you know, um, suppression in, in, in this country um, and oppression and how they came together and, and built this amazing cultural landmark that's, that's still so, so vital and, and important. And then to also connect this to today, you know, to the, the struggle that still happens, as, as Terrence Martin and the other young artists say, say in the film. And but they continue that same thing of, of using this and, and making it into, trying to put it into something positive, you know, and how music is truly a transformative uh, art form. And, 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 uh, really a, you know, a message to make people feel better, so that's, yeah. Just, just keep pushing and, and, and keep re reinventing yourself. Like, through all the challenges, that's what stood out to me, is, is breaking through barriers and breaking through challenges, you know, whether, you know, I mean, to me, that's, that's like the spirit of Blue Note. New, break through challenges, you know. That's why I, I, I love our Blue Note, who know that's made a lot of changes through the years with personnel and everything, but I feel like every era of Blue Note has has a breakthrough, you know, and, and, and that's something to say, a label that's been around since the 50s, I mean, that's something to say, just some business, and I'm, I'm a firm believer of good business. You know, many people or friends of mine who would not necessarily go see a jazz documentary came to see it, and they were 
blown away by, first of all, they had a misconception of what jazz is. So they, they were just really uh, blown away by, by the music, but also the subjects that are part of the film, which is, you know, it's more universal topics. Um, one is the, the creative process, that, that is an important part that you get to hear about through Wayne Shorter and, and Herbie Hancock. And you hear them play and they talk about improvisation and the importance of, you know, listening to the others and being an individual while being part of a whole, which are all things that I think are extremely um, important especially during this time, you know, where it's, there's so much division, uh, people don't talk to each other, they don't understand each other, to just actually really sit across from somebody and, and, and listen. I'm about to be high now. Wait, wait a minute. Groovy. They like jazz and they sampled it. I found out by looking at my raw system. Blue Note is the past, present, and the future. You travel? Yeah, how y'all doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one more. 